Hey guys, this is what I did to my hair by wearing hairstyles that you shouldn't be doing on a constant basis like these. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of your unhealthy hair ends using a simple guide. Have you ever felt like using the scissors like this? You sometimes confuse if you're doing it correctly or you're not holding the scissors correctly to even make a cut or you're uncertain how to do it. Well, I found this little gadget online with a clear clip. It's a simple gadget in order to guide you to cut your hair. Okay, it comes with two inside of the package, a huge one like this for longer, thicker hair, as well as a smaller one in order to cut thinner and shorter hair, as well as to cut bangs. Now, this is the clip. The smaller one is like this and it has instructions in order to guide you to cutting the hair correctly. Now you can do bangs, you can do layered cuts and you can do different things. But today I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of the unhealthy hair using the clear clip. We're going to be using the first guide, putting the hair to the back and using the larger guide in order to cut the hair in a precise manner. Now, sometimes I know you're confused with cutting your hair, but this little gadget, the Create Clip, is designed to help you save some money, some coins, and how to cut your hair. So on the packaging, it has how to use the smaller guide as well as the longer one. You can use it on your child's hair as well as natural hair. For the natural hair, though, you will have to blow out your hair and then use the guide in order to cut the hair or trim the hair correctly. So this is what my hair is looking like recently because of styles that are constantly out in the open. So the elements and everything else dries out the ends as well as damaging the hair. So I've had my a little five minutes of long hair fame and in my mind, I don't know, I was showing off and this is the result of doing so on a constant basis. Okay, so my husband is going to be helping me to cut the back because we chose the first uh, way to do this. And uh, he's going to be cutting at least an inch off. I would have left it right there, but I can't see until now that we're doing the video or editing the video to see how much he actually cut. I would have left it right there and then do a straight cut. But he decided to go down a little bit more and cut some so as you can see the guide helps you to cut precisely what is damaged okay and if you are a person who is afraid of cutting your hair this is something that you can actually try to use to get a better precise cut if you're scared to use the scissors on your own Okay, as you can see, there are still some sparse areas on the shoulder and I'm going to be fixing up that one using the other guide to trim the unhealthy ends. Something that I noticed, because I had my hair out a lot, my hair started to get thin. And that is not a good look. So, uh, let me know in the comments, guys, if the Create Clip is something that you are familiar with by just commenting yes. So there you have it and how I use the clear clip in order to trim my hair ends. Pretty simple, pretty easy. I think anyone can use this as a guide to help them cut precisely and not be afraid to use the scissors. Okay, so let's see now how the back of the hair looks after doing a little trim.
Okay, so this is what my hair is actually looking like now. And this is the hair that was cut. Okay, so if you learned anything new in this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Adios.